Hello, so this week I wanna take some time to talk about the concept, if it fits your macros, okay? So as you know from just reading and things that we've talked about previously, there are three different types of macronutrients. So you have carbs, proteins, and fats, okay? And what I like to do with my clients is give them a certain number that they're targeting to hit every week or every day, okay? So if, you know, I'm giving you 200 grams of carbs per day, 100 grams of protein, and say 80 grams of fat. That's a pretty pretty average split for a woman for something I, I would give them. Um, I tend to speak in terms of macros. I don't really speak in terms of calories. That's actually like doing math in my head and it makes me like kind of confused. So I always speak in terms of macros and in terms of grams, okay? So you'll hear me do that a lot because to me, if we've got a balanced diet in terms of our macronutrients, the rest tends to fall into place, right? We tend to see really good workout recovery. We tend to sleep better. We tend to have better energy throughout our day, right? We're not relying on caffeine. We're not seeing yo-yo patterns and binge eating patterns and um, it, you know blood sugar spikes and things like that. So the more we can keep your diet consistent in terms of your macronutrients, the better off we're gonna be. So. That's something I really work on a lot with my clients. And um, you know, the term, if it fits your macros in the fitness industry does have a lot of controversy, controversy added to it. And the reason is, is that, you know, again, let's go back to our example, right? If I give you 200 grams of carbs per day, who's to say that those 200 grams of carbs could come from brown rice and sweet potatoes versus, you know, cookies and a piece of cake and uh, Lucky Charms? right? There's, you know, if you're, wor if you're working in an if it fits your macros type system, there does become this blurry line of quality over quantity. And even though there have been studies to show that the quality of the nutrients that you get doesn't really seem to affect your weight loss, right? They actually did a study on uh, the Twinkie diet where this guy, he ate nothing but Twinkies for you know, however many days, I don't really remember the details of the study, but he ate nothing but Twinkies for a certain number of days and he actually lost weight. His blood pressure went down, his resting heart rate went down. He actually had be a better lipid panel after that. And the only reason is because he lost weight. And how did he do that eating just Twinkies? Well, he created a caloric deficit, right? Even though he was eating just Twinkies and he didn't necessarily have the healthiest, most balanced diet ever, but he, what he did do was he created a deficit. So he was eating maybe say a more balanced diet than just Twinkies, but he was eating a balanced diet at, you know, and again, I don't speak in calories, but say that balanced diet was 2,500 calories a day. And then that Twinkie diet was 1,800 calories a day. Even though it was filled with crap, it was still a deficit and he still lost weight. Okay. So now, am I a big proponent of getting all of your cal all of your nutrients, everything in your body from a Twinkie or something even that remotely resembles a Twinkie? No, I definitely, I definitely think you need to have balance in your diet in terms of having the right nutrients that are going to help you recover, help you keep you sustained longer. Right? We do need to be focusing on the quality of your foods as well. But within the if it fits your macro system, that does help clients kind of put into perspective. Okay, if I have 200 grams of carbs per day, it's like money. I have $200, where do I wanna spend it? Well, I need to spend some of it on my rent. I need to spend some of it on my food. I need to put a little bit of it into savings, but I could probably afford to buy a pair of shoes, right? So macros are kind of the same way, dealing with grams of carbs, all right? If you've got 200 grams a day, are you gonna to wanna to spend a little, bit on the, a little bit of those carbs on things like oatmeal? Probably or a sweet potato or um, you know, some kind of healthy carb, probably a wise decision. I would say yes. But do you also have some wiggle room to enjoy a glass of wine at the end of the day? Definitely, with 200 grams of carbs, you've got a lot of wiggle room, right? So um, implementing this system is not a free-for-all. You know, If it fits your macros is not a free-for-all. It doesn't mean, oh, I get 200 grams of carbs, I can do, whatever, right? It means that we need to, uh, you know, keep in mind the quality issue and the quality concerns 
while also learning that balance and maintaining the balance skills that we've learned over the past couple of weeks, okay? So if it fits your macros is what we're gonna be implementing here, keep that in mind. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to shoot me a DM, let me know. Thanks.